Hey boys and girls, I'm Danny Ford and I'm a student and conditioning officer here at Connect GA. We're back again for the Skills for Schools Physical Literacy Program. Today, once again, we are going at the two skills. We're looking at the skill of balance and also the skill specific to Gaelic football, which is the solo. So just the key teaching points in which we went through last week in terms of balance was keep your body up straight, eyes pointed to wherever you're trying to keep and try to prevent any sudden movements to knock yourself from the ground. Now we're going to have a look at a few drills which we're going to progress on from last week which will improve our balance but to rem remind yourself of the key teaching points while practicing these drills. The first one is called tightrope. It's a fun drill so make sure to do the teaching points and you'll improve your balance. Players are asked to take off their footwear. A rope is placed on the floor. Players must maintain their balance with the rope at the center of their foot. Players are encouraged to move in a multiple different movements with eyes shut and eyes open. Good stuff. This next one now, uh, once again, it's about balance. It's about squatting though, so he's going to progress onto the movements. Let's have a look at the video. Players are asked to carry out a squat off two feet and one. Stability is important for this exercise. Good stuff. Now just one more on, on, um, on balance. And once again, you're going to copy your coach. It's about changing shapes. And remember, just try not to lose your balance, eyes forward, and really concentrate on it. Good stuff. Players are asked to take a position on the floor on hands and knees. Coach changes the shape their body is in players must mimic the movement. Good stuff. Now we're going to look at the solo. So we're just going to remind yourselves of the key teaching points from last week on the solo. So like I said, if you're kicking with your right foot, the ball goes into your right foot. You're going to step forward with your non-kicking foot. The ball is going to be dropped. You're going to extend your toes, toes pointing towards the body, extend the leg, and you're going to catch it into the thing. We're going to do it all in one motion, just in a bit quicker. So on the, my kicking foot is the right, dropping into the chest and hold. Um, now we're just going to have a look at a few drills that's going to progress the solo from last week. This one, this first one is called the straight line solo. So make sure to get two or three solos in while we're running the line. Let's have a look at the video. Step one in phase two is getting the kids to do a solo at each of the cones on the right foot on the way out and on the left foot on the way back. Uh, you're doing it at a slow pace so that the kids get a chance to do their solo and then they quicken it up themselves as they get better at the skill. Good stuff. Uh, now this next one is about you on the coach's whistle, you're going to perform the solo as quick as you can. Let's have a look. Step three in phase two, every player has a ball within the square. Uh, when the coach blows the whistle once, they solo with their right foot. When he blows the whistle twice, they solo with their left foot. It's bringing in more traffic and also reacting to the coach and avoiding other players. stuff now just one more uh, similar to last week called team pursuit it's a fun game you try to catch your partner but make sure to get the solo win let's have a look circuit is divided as shown on the video players are divided into two teams team a must pursue team b Now we're just going to recap on everything we did today. So first, in terms of balance, the key teaching points in which we said was keep the body straight, your eyes pointed forward, and try to prevent any sudden movements that will knock yourself over. In terms of the solo, with the key teaching points of this, like a lot of the drills, your eyes are on the ball throughout the whole movement. If you're kicking with your right foot, this is how we're going to do with your left foot. So if you're kicking with your left foot, you're going to uh, step forward with the non-kicking foot, drop it onto that hand, kick forward, toes pointing up, and catch the ball into the chest. So go out, enjoy the session, practice the drills at home, and we'll see you next week for another session.